This time we'll try some harder examples. So we have start with this number in binary. Then I will just take the 1, multiply by 2, give me 2. Add the second 1, which gives me 3. Multiply by 2, gives me 6. Add the third bit, gives me 6. Multiply by 2, gives me 12. Add the fourth bit, leaves me with 12. Multiply by 2, gives me 24. Add the fifth bit, multiply by 2, and then add the last bit. So this gives me 50 in base 10, and that is what I see over in my number line. If I started with the octal version of 62, I would do the same thing. I'll start with 6, multiply by the base. 6 times 8 is 48. Then I'll add in the second digit, which will give me 50 as well. Hexadecimal would be the same way. I'll start with 32, take the 3, multiply by my base. This time I'll get 18, and then 1 times 3 is 3. That will give me 48. And then I'll add the second digit, and I'll get 50 in base 10 again. If I take another large number like 100,000, the binary version is So I've picked the largest number in my number line, so I expect these two to still be equal. And I'll start with the 1 and multiply by 2. This gives me 2, and I'll add the second bit. This gives me 3 times 2 is 6. Add the third bit times 2 is 12. Add the fourth bit. Now I might start getting lost with all these zeros, so I'm going to start marking these out as I use them. So you can see I've taken the first bit, the second bit, third bit, and there's the fourth bit. This leaves me with 12, so I'll multiply by 2 and get 24. Then I'll add another zero. Gives me 24 again. Multiply by 2 is 48. Add the next bit. Is 48. Multiply by 2 will give me 96. Next bit is a 1, it's 97, and I'm going to come back up here. So I've got 97 times 2, 4, carry a 1, 18, 19, so I have 194, and I'll add the next bit, this is 195. Multiply by 2, 0, carry a 1, 18, 19, 2, 3. And then I'll add the next bit. So I've got 390. Multiply by 2, 0, 8, 7. Add the next bit. 
So I have 781. Multiply by 2, 2, 16, 14 plus 1 is 15. Then I'll add the next bit. Multiply this by 2. So now I have 4, 12, 11, and 3. And then I'll add the next bit. It's me 3125. And now I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more zeros. So I'm really not going to be doing any more adding. I'm just going to be doing a whole lot of multiplication. So I've got 3125, and I'll multiply by 2. So that gives me 4, 5, 2, 6. Now I'd add this 0, and then go back and multiply by 2 again. 0, area 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 times 2 is 12, add this 0, now I'll multiply by 2, 0, 0, area 1, 5, and 2, add this 0, multiply by 2, Add this 0, multiply by 2. And then finally add the last 0. And my result is, as you'd expect, 100,000. If I start with the octal version of 100,000, that's 303240. Zero, zero, so when I'm done converting, I also expect to get 100,000 out again. And I'll start with my 3 this time. And again, I'm multiplying by the base. Give me 24. Then I'll add the second digit. Give me with 24. Multiply by the base. So 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 3 is 19. Add the third digit. It's me 195. Multiply by 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 4 is 76. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 7 is 15. So I've used my 3, the 0, and the second 3. So the next thing is this 2. Which gives me 1562. And I will multiply this by 8. So 16. 48 plus 1 is 49. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 4, and 8, 12. So now I'll add the next digit, which is a 4. And this gives me 12,500. And I will multiply this by 8. 0, 0. 40, 16 plus 4 is 20, 8 plus 2 is 10. And then lastly, I would add the 0 and get 100,000 in base 10. Finally, I'll do the same thing for base 16, where I'll start with 186A0. 
So I'll start with my 1 and multiply by 16. It'll give me 16. Now I'll add my 8. This gives me 24. And I'll multiply this by 16. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. And then 1 times 24 is 24. So when I add those together, I get 384. If use my 1 and my 8. And now I'll use the 6. So this gives me 390. And I'll multiply this by 16. We had 0. 6 times 9 is 54. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 5 is 23. And 1 times 390 is 390. So now I'll want to add the A, except I don't have any A's in base 10. I'll need to convert the A into base 10. Fortunately, A in base 10 is just 10. So I'm going to add 10 here. And this will give me 6250, which I will multiply by 16. So 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15, 6 times 6 is 36, plus 1 is 37, and 1 times 6250 is 6250. So, when I add these together, I get 100,000 in base 10. Then I'll add my last zero, and I'll have 100,000 in base 10 still.